guys, welcome back and hey to everyone that is new as well. My eyes are watering down bad because of hay fever, so I'm going to look with makeup down my face for this reading. Uh, bear with me. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do obviously a mutual energy reading as we always do and it's going to be a will you be together. Okay, so it's going to as always act on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if you need to look at it personally, just drop me an email, get a personal reading. We do, we do, as in me and me guys do half hour, 15 minute, and we do single questions over email as well. Okay, so that is deck number one and deck number two. We've got a mermaidy deck and we've got an animal -y deck. Uh, you need to go with, actually I'm not gonna show you the pictures because my guide's saying you need to go with your heart chakras. So where your heart energy is pulling you, deck number one and deck number two, pick a deck. Hashtag pick a deck. Okay, let me see where we're going. Clairvoyance fully activated. One, two, pick a deck. Three, two, one, ding. It's like the microwave, isn't it, that? I always think of a microwave when I do that bit. Right, so, let's go. Can you get me into deck number one, Energy? As always, deck times are in the description. Deck number one's Energy. So, go into you guys' emotions, Energy. Woo. Number one. And let's get into your people's Energy. So, think about your person. Can we get into that collective Energy? Look into all those Energies. Pull out the strongest mutual energy of that. Let's get into thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. Other people, and let's do both of your mutual energy on possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. Tongue twister that. It was like that when you were at school and you had to do red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. We good? Okay, we're going. So the first thing that I'm getting before I'm even getting into the, well, just with your guys' energy, I've got, uh, you saw the whole of the moon. Can't remember who that is by, uh, but that song is going round and round and round and round in me right, through my right ear. So, you'll have to have a look at that one. Don't know who it's by. You saw the whole of the meme. Okay, can you tell me, will deck number one, will they be together with their person? What is the collective energy on that? Collective energy. Uh, don't know what that is either, if anyone knows what that is. Did we have that before once? Whatever song that is as well, there'll be a link in with that somewhere. Either that or it's someone's ringtone. Two, three. Will you be together? So again, as always, it does it regardless of circumstances, um the energy is regardless of the circumstances between the two of you because it works on mutual energy so if you are third party or if you're not together or if you are together whatever your individual circumstances are it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy have the overall outcome please for deck number one okay so this relationship with you and your person is going to be a little bit like a jigsaw so you're going to on a game of chess as well I just saw a clairvoyant image of a game of chess so what's happening in this relationship um is at this moment in time you're kind of playing your chess pieces and putting your jigsaw pieces into place so you will make a move say you're the whites I, i'm not very good at chess but you will make a move towards them and then they will make a move towards you and when they get scared they kind of go backwards there's a bit of checkmate kind of going on all that energy is coming forward um in this reading uh you guys, a lot of you are looking for communication, you're looking for talking about feelings, talking about emotions, talking about what you want, where you're going, what's going to happen, and that is the longer term kind of thing, well, this is this is the outcome of these cards, they're saying that communication is what is going to happen between the two of you. Um, for now, it's a little bit stoppy starty. Once this communication comes into place, that is when you will both commun sit down, communicate, and have the chance to talk things talk things through and talk about whether you and them have got a future so it is a good possibility you can manifest the outcome because you've got abundance over here as well i'm talking through the outcomes first um you can manifest this moving forward um if you want manifesting plans let me know 
manifesting videos linked in all the public descriptions. Go have a watch of that. There's quite a few tools and tips and techniques in that. Um, overall outcome is that this communication is going to be key to you and your person being together. So where you are at this moment in time of them is you're both feeling a little bit isolated and alone. Some of you there's an element of deception kind of going on as well, feeling a little bit betrayed, feeling a little bit lost. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be deception as in they've gone out and they've done something behind your back. It doesn't necessarily feel like that at all. But it could be deception that you thought you were going to be together and you feel like they've, they've let you down. Uh, it could be deception that um, you didn't know they were with someone and then they've got someone. It could be that they, you were together and they've gone off with someone else. It's that kind of deception energy coming forward. So it's not a whole, oh my God, I didn't know about it therefore it happened it's not that kind of energy this is a more of you actually did know what was going on and for those of you that didn't trust your gut instinct okay so that's where the energy is at the moment there is a need for forgiveness kind of coming forward um forgiveness again remember that it's never really it's not about you obviously it takes two hands to clap um but the mutual energy between the two of you and forgiveness you have to forgive to kind of get that inner peace and from that inner peace you can move forward uh, ways to do it have a look at YouTube meditations on forgiveness YouTube letting go of the past um, anything like that you know have a, have a go at trying to m move that energy forward because that's a bit of a block on you and this person being together at the moment need for forgiveness so you're having this period of kind of isolation or feeling alone feeling abandoned feeling a little bit light to feeling a little bit betrayed your person is kind of echoing that energy as well um, they are trying not to think about it at the moment they're putting it more to the back of their mind um, and even if you're in communication and things like that, they're still trying to put it to the back of their mind because um, the idea of you and them, even though in, a, in an ideal world it is what they want, they feel that at the moment there's kind of a lot of water under the bridge and this situation has only got one way of moving forward and that is going to be this element of forgiveness. So that's coming through as well. Your person is also feeling a little bit vulnerable around you because I'm hearing that some of them have opened up to you or shown this this side of their character and that side of that character um, is showing their vulnerability stuff from the past alcohol drugs issues escapism issues with parents all of that kind of energy is stepping in to this deck okay so there is a need for forgiveness and that from your side of things and from their side no from your side of things there is a need for forgiveness for this to move forward um, and there is also their need to kind of have this energy of healing okay um you can send your person healing the best way to do it at the moment uh spirit is saying is to go into um your energy do an energy healing on you and ask that to echo or mirror onto your person okay just before you go and do it rather than sending them energy because at the moment pressure might freak them out a little bit Okay, so that's where the energy currently is. Um, you're both kind of feeling a little bit stuck by the situation because the feelings are really, really strong between the two of you. Um, but it's it's like it's having this kind of period of rest at the moment as a whole, a period of healing, period of rest, period of looking after yourself. You, but you're feeling quite sad. They're feeling sad as well. Please remember that. Um, we kind of have the tendency to think about things from just our perspective really and I'm not justifying people's behaviour if they've been arseholes, I'm not doing that at all but what I'm saying is if you um, sorry spirit interrupted me then that healing energy is really really important for what's kind of going on at this moment in time I lost it, it went in it came through and it went so quickly I lost what they were saying so there's that need for healing feeling a little bit stuck at the moment some of you are wondering what to do about it um we did that if you look at the last public reading um it'll be interesting to see what you get in that because some of them are saying uh, i think it was deck number one i can't remember was saying that if you um whatever you decide the outcome will still be the same so they can still whether you give it time if you give it space or if you go off and date other people etc the outcome will still be the same they will still come back towards you and it's the same in this deck they're saying that no matter what kind of happens what water's under the bridge what need for forgiveness is there that this communication will come through and you can manifest this outcome we need to get you lot out of a lower frequency because a lot of you are on this on this lower frequency at the moment and um, again watch manifesting video because it talks about how to move you forward with that um, so you guys are feeling a little bit stuck feeling as if you're waiting for things to happen um, it will come forward it will come through they are watching you on social media um, they are also asking friends about you they're asking associates about you I've got candle black on me or pen uh, asking associates about you uh, asking friends about you think kind of like that mutual energy trying to see what you're actually up to what's going on and that 
uh, perspective of of having these strong feelings for you it's just that they're kind of not quite ready for this to move forward but it will happen and um, you're standing in your power well you will be standing in the power the more kind of healing energies you do I hate saying that I hate saying you heal lots of healing time and time heals everything um, but in this case it's going to be quite true um, there is a need for a healing energy there is a need for forgiveness um, and there is that need for inner peace and once you find that peace within yourself you will then find that peace with them which then can mean you guys will communicate and the situation can move forward um, and you will have that chance to be together but that's you've got to do it in bite-sized chunks got to play the chess pieces got to put the jigsaw pieces together so there is a really good likelihood you guys are going to be together um but it's taking a bit of time it's going to be a little bit of time um mutual energy on timing there isn't one um spirit is saying that there is not a mutual timing on this deck because you're all at very very different stages in this relationship some of you are very near to union some of you are right at the kind of start so if you wanted your individual timings we need to look at that in a personal reading and um, there is not a collective time on this some of you it will be a few months some of you it will be a year or two so there's not a collective mutual timing i'm afraid um what else so that's that's really where you guys are so communication is is the next step for you guys and from that communication that's when you'll work out where you'll be together but forgiveness um will, has got to be got to be um given spirit was saying then sorry it's what happens when i talk to me i'll get I, I have like five people talking to me at one time so and then i'm trying to talk to you so sometimes my head goes off and i'm like what's going on here and um, what spirit is saying as well is even if you have forgiven situations and forgiven what has happened um there is a need to kind of work with yourself on the healing energy of what I wouldn't say what damage they've left behind but what they've how it's made you feel so you know if um for example if they've just ghosted you or um if they did betray you physically or emotionally anything along those lines um whilst you can forgive that situation and you can forgive them and you do feel that there's all well m most of you do not all of you but most of you feel that you can feel that forgiveness but there's also that need to kind of forgive how it's made you feel because you're putting that energy of of what's happened into being a self-reflection on you and this is where self-love is key in this journey because that self-love um gives the results and it moves situations forward because you know it's making sure that you're happy within yourself which then means that can echo onto the situation of you being happy with them if that makes sense to you so self-love will be key the need for forgiveness isn't necessarily with them but it's forgiveness of how it's made you feel as a person their actions how that has made impacted on you okay um because if you've got this low self-esteem and they've made you feel rubbish i'm not saying this is all of you this is some of you but low self-esteem made you feel rubbish etc etc then this energy is coming forward that this need for healing is going to start within you guys and that then will echo to them which then means the situation can move forward chess pieces are being played jigsaws coming together and it will push into this relationship once this communication comes through so first of all communication is your first goal and um, even if you're in contact it's going to be communication about feelings and things like that don't pressurize them if you are talking to them and um, it's going to have to be when they are ready to play their chess piece towards you yeah and it is it is a little bit tit for tat as well i'm hearing it is a little bit checkmate um because the energy between the two of you the emotions are very very intense very very strong emotions um it can sometimes be a little bit like well i'm gonna try and get one up on them and try and get one up on them and it's not all of you but there is that kind of tit for tat energy oh they made me feel rubbish i'm gonna go see who else is available etc etc um but again this is part of the healing process this is what needs to happen so for you guys to be together healing energies first um playing your chess pieces bit by bit then communication will come forward once you've had this period of rest and healing and these naturally unfurling um then this relationship can move forward and you can be together so healing communication and abundance remember to manifest the outcome you want if you're in a lower frequency you won't be able to do it um so watch the manifesting video if you want your plans doing give us a, a holler um, and we can get that going that's step number one okay 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 it's quite a tough reading that day number one it's um 
but it is where you are, you know. Easy does it, gently, 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 softly, tiger or whatever. <laughs> In the Queen of Swords out there, uh, you know. Remember who you are, guys. You are divine beings. So I always think, uh, remember you're not um, a human having an earthly... No. Yeah. You're not a human having a spiritual experience. You're a spirit having a human experience. Always remember that. Shifts the frequency, shifts, shifts the vibration. Right, let's do the two. 15, 17. Okay, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, as always, it's going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. And... Uh, Deck number two. Uh, think about your person. Can we get into their person's mutual energy? So as always, I think I've just said that. Works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Uh, I'm starting to get a song come through. We're starting off with songs today. I've got uh, turn around every now and then I get a little bit darker than I'll never come around Can't sing can read tarot, can talk to spirit, can communicate with the, the living and the past Can't sing Deck number two is thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes And let's get into both of your mutual energy It goes to as always, postman, all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. Deck number two. Okay, one more, and we're going. Can you tell me, please, deck number two, are them and their person going to be together? You see my heather? I don't know um, other countries, but ladies come round here every so often and sell heather for luck. Can you tell me please will deck number two be together with their person will they be together let's do this one at a time please cards will they be together thank you one two three I can't remember how many cards we had on the other one. Six, seven, eight. Let's get one more. Will they be together? Nine. No, one more. Ten. And can I have the overall outcomes for deck number two, please? What is deck number two? Turn around every now and then again. Uh, one more. I went off into my own little world then. I was off in dimension crawling. Okay, so. So, my beautiful deck number two, what's going on with you and them? There is a really strong possibility that you guys are going to get your shit sorted and you're going to come back together. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I could just tell you that and you'd be like, but why, Ali? Why? Um, well, first of all, um, I'm going to start at the end goal and work backwards like I did with deck number one. There is reconciliation. There is love. There is heart-centred energy, um, there is putting the past behind you, there is this situation is going to resolve, this situation is going to get better, this situation is going to take time and effort from both parties, and if you endure that, then yes, you've got a really good chance of things working out. Um, so, I'll show you your outcomes. It gets better. Forgive and endurance, okay? Um, and you have over here your reconciliation and your ten of swords. So what we need to do with debt number two for this relationship, for you two guys to be together, is this need for letting go of the past, okay? Um, letting go of all the shit that's built up, letting go of uh, fears that you're not going to be together and just roll with the energy, manifest it happening, get them together with you and there you go. Okay, that's it in short. Um, there isn't going to be reconciliation. There is going to be situations moving forward. Even if you're feeling nothing's really happening, there is going to be a call to action in most likely a few weeks. I've just heard five. So 
uh, as a collective energy that could be five weeks it could be five months it could be the fifth of a month it could be may that kind of energy is coming forward five is being really important and spirit also saying that 555 is number of changes and this situation is going to do a 180 and you're going to get the outcomes that you want but it is going to take work from both of you um you know when you do come together it's probably not going to be as easy as you'd want it to you'd be like you get everything you want and then you think oh you know i miss my singleness um, so what's kind of happening is uh, your person is working out what they want at this moment in time. Once they do that, they're going to make actions towards you. Uh, they're feeling uh, the only negative card, not even negative, the only the lower frequency cards in this are feeling a little bit stuck in mucky waters, not quite sure how to move forward, um, and feeling like they are quite alone in the situation. Your person as a whole hasn't really got anyone to communicate with about it. Uh, you guys as a whole, you do communicate with people that you trust. Again, mutual energy. You communicate with people that you trust about the situation. Your person hasn't really got that. They haven't really got someone that they trust as much as you guys trust your friends or family. Um, they're also worrying as well because you've communicated with your friends about or family about the situation. Um, they are worrying they are worrying um, that your person is going to have a, a reflection on them. So your people that you've communicated with about them, they are worried that, um, this is going to settle her down this night, she's having a good itch. Um, they are worried that there is going to be a um, detriment to them. Okay, so if you've been communicating with them about this, sorry guys, it cut out, I'm, I'm merging it into one video. So your person is worrying um, that the people that you've communicated with about them are going to be very judgmental, my dog's playing up, they'll be very judgmental about uh, about them, worrying that, you know, they've already got an opinion about, about, see, let's rephrase this, okay, so your person is worrying that those that you have told have got a judgment about them now, so they're worried about uh, what you've told them, they're worried about what people think of them, and that kind of energy is coming forward quite strongly within this deck, however, love will prevail, I'm hearing, uh, good will out, and uh, so it is, so it will be literally what I'm hearing. So your person's starting to feel more stable. With that stability comes heart-centered offers of love towards you. Um, ready for new beginnings. You're kind of calling a bit of a truce on the energy that's been going on between the two of you. You're coming to this steady ground. You're coming to this balancing of the yin and yang energies. You're feeling better within yourselves. You're going to start working together. This energy is going to start merging um, and the masculine family and the feminine energies when this merging happens means the situation is able to move forward there is a good chance you can be together some of you there are circumstances which are dictating otherwise do not place fear onto circumstances for example if they are with someone else don't think try not to make that person relevant uh, make them irrelevant because if you're focusing that energy on that person what you're doing is pressing pause on the relationship yourself because you're feeding it you're manifesting them when reality you need to focus on you focus on manifesting the situation with them make that person that they are with irrelevant and let the situation move forward that's me third party followers um the rest of you new beginnings ready for a truce passionate energy sexual chemistry between the two of you really really strong so if you can put up with the situation and what has happened and them being a pain up the arse remember they will not change okay so if you're expecting great thunderbolts of lightning and your person to suddenly come down and be all i'm going to be this person that i want you to be you know if you want them to change please remember that people don't tend to change they can grow they can develop but change is something that's a little bit different um it's always best you know people say trust in a relationship i always say it's best to trust that they are the person they were when they, you met them and if you trust in that then you can't go wrong you know if you trust that that is the person that you met from the start and this is who they are and this is how who they always will be then you, you're not going to mess up. If you want them to be someone that they aren't, then this relationship is going to be a little bit tit for tat again. That was tit, tit, tit for tat got mentioned in deck number one. And um, there is a strong love between the two of you. There is a strong sexual chemistry between the two of you. There is movement between the two of you. There is love between the two of you. There is endurance between the two of you there's a need for forgiveness between the two of you but once all of these pieces take place then you've got a really good chance of being with them um 
don't let the lower frequencies into your vibration. There's a lot of uh, potential twin flames watching this video as well. Please keep your energy clear because lower frequencies and lower vibrational spirits like to mess with twin flame energy. Really, really important to keep your energy moving, growing, flowing um, so that this situation doesn't get stoppy starty. Regular energy cleansers probably daily or get crystals or anything like that that's going to help root cleanse that energy for you so the situation can move forward. Um, really positive, really good cards, movement, a lot of movement within this deck and it's a lot a lot of stability in this deck as well. People are becoming a lot more stable, feeling a lot more secure within themselves and through that security that means that the past can be put to bed, the two of you can move your energies forward and you will come, it's likely you're going to come together. So you've got, well we've got two of wands, you've got the ace of wands, these were the more lower frequency ones that I said, you've got eight of wands, you've got five of pentacles over here. You've got movement, stepping in, you've got putting the past behind you so that you can have reconciliation, these two jumps out together. Putting the past behind you so you can have reconciliation, love between the two of you, again movement, Sorry, you couldn't even see that. I don't tend to show the cards as much as I probably should do, but that's because I only use them as a tool. It's just spirit really talking. They, I just look at them and I hear blah, 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 blah. Uh, moving forward, love, stability, positive outcomes, lovers, things moving forward in the right direction. So it looks really good. Um, it is going to get better. All this, is it worth it? It will be worth it in the long run. Um, communication, if you're not in communication, that is soon. Hearts are being healed. Things are moving forward. Um, you've done, you've, you're putting in the groundwork. You're doing your spiritual work. Things can be built with structure. And from that structure, that means the structure brings stability. And through the stability, it brings communication and things moving forward. Okay, so the likely outcome of deck number two is yeah, you will be together, yes, um, but let go of those petty fears, okay, um, don't overthink, when you're sitting there at night time and it's going, blah, 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 cut it out, put on something on TV or put on some meditation music or don't know, go make a drink so you're not in that energy, don't sit and wallow in it, don't wallow in lower frequencies, keep moving, keep, keep the energy moving. And it's got a really good chance of you being together. And that's step number two. Okay guys, so if you want to book a private reading, remember this works on the strongest mutual energy. So if you want to book a private reading, email me, that is mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Um, I'm on Instagram, that's mysticlovetarot. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I think that's it, I'm sure that's it. Anything you guys wanna say? My well, guys are just saying, be proud of how far you've come, okay? Um, a lot of you, when you feel like you're being stuck in this situation and feeling like you can't move forward, think how far you've come so far already. You know, don't be too hard on yourself. It's, it's all moving, energy's fluid, it's going to shift, it's going to change. You know, like time. Uh, time, is there a time for that too? No, there's no time for deck two either. So, you know, I said in deck number one, because it's a mutual energy of you being together, some of you are right at the start, some of you are right at the end. So there isn't a mutual timing on deck number two. If you want your timings, we can look at it in a personal reading. And that's it. All right, guys, lots of love to you all. God bless. Bye.